What's up guys, it's Average Owl making average content for the average viewer and today I'm going to share with you guys my absolute favourite and best loadout in Battlefield 2042. Today I'll be sharing with you exactly what I use on a game to game basis from the specialist to the weapon to even the throwable and gadget. All of these things added together culminate into my absolute favourite loadout that in my eyes just cannot be beaten for my playstyle. Now first I am going to mention a couple of caveats. First of all I play a very rush heavy flank heavy playstyle and for that reason if you are more of a passive player this might not be suitable for you. And on top of that, this is obviously just my opinion and opinions do differ. Opinions are like arseholes. Every single person has one. And if you do have a different opinion and you have a different loadout that you would choose over this one, it would be awesome if you would share that with us down in the comments. Now, before we get on to the loadout, I do just want to say that I'm super grateful for all the support that you guys have given me over the past few videos. It's absolutely incredible to see that Battlefield 2042 tips and tricks are doing so well on my channel as this is exactly where my channel started nearly two years ago. Now, I do have a massive favour to ask. Last Christmas, me and my brother-in-law had what we call a slap bet, whereby the winner of that bet gets to slap the other person as hard as they can. And I bet that I would be on 20,000 subscribers by Christmas this year, and obviously I'm falling quite a bit short. So, if you don't want me to get slapped, it would be awesome if you would help me out and subscribe to my channel. But anyway, without further ado, let's get on with the loadout. Now, the first thing that I think is absolutely crucial to how well this loadout works and has honestly become somewhat of a crutch to me over the past few days is the specialist Sundance. Sundance is such a good specialist and for my flanky playstyle, I literally cannot think of a better specialist to use. The wingsuit allows you to sneak past enemies virtually undetectable because you're such a small and fast target as you glide through the air. Then when you land, if you cannot shoot all of the enemies in front of you, then and she comes equipped with three types of grenades that absolutely decimate enemies. The first of which is a cluster grenade and on games like Breakthrough if you manage to get through and pass the enemy lines and land behind them for example, two of these grenades can easily take out two, three, four, even five people if placed correctly and the ones that you do not kill will be hurt enough that you'll be able to mow them down with a spray of your gun. Honestly, if you haven't tried Sundance yet and you play aggressive and flanky, there is nothing better for getting around your enemy and getting those easy kills. Okay, so on to the actual loadout. Now first, I want to talk to you about my primary weapon, the PP29. Now I'm sure a lot of you have already been killed by this a lot because it absolutely fucking shreds. This gun is so powerful and has virtually no recoil. For that reason, the attachments that I'll be using go as follows. In terms of my sight, I'm using the K8 hollow sight. Obviously this is just personal preference and if you haven't unlocked this sight yet, do not worry because it doesn't matter. This sight just gives me the clearest sight picture that I personally prefer to use. Now moving on to the barrel, I use the wrapped suppressor. I mentioned in yesterday's video that I don't actually like most of the barrel attachments. For me, the fact that if you choose something that reduces your horizontal recoil, it then increases your vertical recoil and vice versa really doesn't sit well for me. This is why I use the suppressor, especially for when we're using Sundance to get behind the enemies. The last thing that you want is to show up on the minimap when busting through the enemy forces from behind. You want to remain as undetected for as long as possible and that is why the suppressor is such a crutch attachment for any aggressive flanky player. Moving on we have the ammunition. Now first of all I'd like to say that I do actually use all three of these ammunitions. This is because it already comes standard with a high power shot. This means that you're already getting more firepower and more damage per shot which is absolutely crucial when taking out these enemies quickly from behind. Now, now, second, I have the subsonic round. This allows me to have even more stealth if I do end up going on an extra long streak whilst I am flanking. This means that my trace availability is now reduced and the muzzle flash visibility is also reduced, which means as well as being quiet when I'm shooting, I'm also nearly invisible to the enemy. And this only comes at the penalty of reload speed and projectile velocity, which on the whole really isn't a bad deal because you are taking out people quietly without them even knowing that 
you are there. So that's about it for my actual gun that I am using within this loadout. I find that the PP29 absolutely dominates at nearly all ranges bar the extreme long ones. The fact that it has very little recoil and the hit reg seems to be pretty decent on this gun means that I am able to outclass and outrange a lot of the assault rifles in the game. Not only that, but up close and personal, it absolutely shreds. Now, obviously when the K30 becomes available to me when I reach like level 50 or whatever that is, my opinions might change. But for me at the moment, for most of you guys, I would imagine the PP29 is by and large the absolute best choice for gun that you can use. Now, I'm not going to talk about my secondary because the M44 is what I'm using at the moment, but literally because I just want to level it up. The best secondary for you to use is going to be the one that you feel most comfortable with. My gadget that I want to use is the C5 explosive. Now, Sundance already comes equipped with a homing grenade that is able to home onto enemy armor. Now, what I like to do is whilst I am flanking, if I see a tank, I will wingsuit just behind that tank, drop down and immediately destroy it with three C5 explosives. It's such a satisfying and useful way to use Sundance's flanking abilities and also can start off your streak on a really right foot, considering that some tanks can hold up to four people, which means as soon as you land, you're already on a four kill streak and ready to decimate the rest of the enemies in the area. And last but not least, but possibly the most useful thing that I have within this class setup is the proximity sensor throwable. Oh my god, this thing is so fucking useful. Not only is it useful to give you intel and tell you where the enemies are when you're going on these long streets and long flanks, but not only that, if you haven't managed to flank the enemy, if you drop just two of these either side of a point in breakthrough, you'll be getting so much XP from all of the spots you're getting and all of the assists you're getting from those spots that you will level up so incredibly fast. Honestly, the proximity center is probably one of the most valuable and un utilized pieces of equipment within Battlefield 2042. So there we have it, my best loadout for Battlefield 2042. I really hope that you guys find this as enjoyable as I have, and I want you guys to let me know if you've tried this and if it's as good as what I say. Now, for those of you who have watched these videos for a while, you'll know that I love to see who sticks around until the end. So if you're still here, I'd like you to let me know by answering this question down in the comments. Would you rather break your arm once a year or stub your toe once a day? Anyway, that's it from me today. I'm Alfred Joel. Peace.